All right, so today we're here on uh, the gold ship, and uh, we had a uh, we were working on the sluice box over here. As you can see, there's our sluice box, and there's a uh, there's a metal plate on top that uh, we lost. And uh, why don't you tell us the story about that? What happened with it? Oh uh, well, uh, we uh, laid it out on top. We were going to use it as a template to cut another one, and uh, we had 50 mile winds come in, a storm, yeah. and uh, it. Uh, picked it up blew it into the harbor uh -oh. so now <laughs> I got to go down and uh, find it I think we pretty much know where it's at but in the process of going down there and doing it since I'm gonna be down there anyway since nobody's ever done it we're gonna go ahead and search the bottom and uh, just see what we can come up with oh Ho cool yeah hopefully we can so, come up with some pretty cool stuff I know there's a lot of stuff down yeah, there yeah yeah it's it just all depends on if it's buried or not but uh, when I get down there you guys will be going along with us, so uh, you'll see what I see. Cool, cool. Yep. So yeah, yeah, we lost a part to the sluice box. It was, uh, why don't you take us up top so, and show us uh, what happened. So yeah, we're working on the sluice box and a big gust of wind came and took um, the top plate off. So we were working on it right up in here. Yeah, here's all our sluice parts right here. But there was a big sheet of aluminum we were working on right here. And uh, what was it, like a 50 mile an hour gust, it was yeah, huge. Yeah. We and, have it laid out right here with a big sheet of aluminum with our uh, slick plate on top. Like yeah. I said, we were using the slick plate as a template. 50 mile an hour winds came in one night and uh, we forgot to take it off of here. So what happened? It blew the, the big sheet of aluminum and the slick plate and they yeah. dropped right there in between the boat. <laughs> right down there. And that buoy, yeah. Oh no. So that's where I'm going. I'm going down there so today to the you're diving down in that little tiny slot you, yeah diving down in that uh, little slot it's gonna be dangerous because look there's all these chains hanging down yeah. these buoys and stuff it's, but uh our slick plates are right down there right in between that crack and we need it we we can't go out and get gold without it yeah yeah we got to go out tomorrow so this is a this is a mandatory find so no yeah. matter how long it takes i got to stay down there yeah and find it and in the process i'm sure i'll find all kinds of yeah stuff. what do you think what do you think is down there oh hard to say i, I mean, mean look at all these boats there's a million dollar boats all in here i mean there's gonna be tools wallets oh yeah uh, there's and, and phones nobody i've been here for three years now and i've never seen one person down there doing this so yeah yeah this there's be gotta cool. be a lot of stuff down there i mean i've dropped stuff down there yeah and i know everybody else has so uh yeah, yeah look at uh look at all this equipment i mean there's equipment all over all these people drop crap all the time yeah. so this is gonna be i don't know i'm kind of excited it's gonna so, be cool. yeah this this might be uh this might be pretty lucrative yeah yeah <laughs> so you're gonna know. hook up hot water a calm system yeah. we'll be able to see you with the camera yeah i'm gonna hook up everything awesome. just like awesome. i'm diving so if i do start hitting a lot of good stuff yeah we yeah. can stay down there and just search search as much as we want that's yeah. cool so what do we call this jigging we're jigging what jigging, are we jigging, man. We're jigging. <laughs> jigging with gary jigging for junk <laughs> jigging for junk with gary yeah all right cool so yeah we gotta get uh gary's gonna get suited up um, I gotta turn the air system on. What else we gotta do? We gotta get hot water for you. Hot water, yeah. Uh, we'll suit you up. Suit send you down. Yep. All awesome. Right. All right. Let's let's, do it. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, let me take you through the systems real quick. Um, usually we use the dredge motor to get our air, but today we're not. We don't have the dredge going. So this is our backup system. This one's an electric. This is the gas uh, 263. But right here is the air compressor. Right here is an electric motor. So instead of a gas motor um, powering it, we got this electric motor powering this. So this is gonna make air and it's gonna go to this um, tank right here. And then this goes out to the umbilical. There's the umbilical, the mask. So he's gonna have air today um, by power, not by, uh, by gas power from the dredge motor. And then this is the other thing we got. Here's our comms. Um, I'm gonna be talking to Gary through this comm system right here. And um, on his mask, Let's see if we can see it um no, it's on the other side but there's this mask right there on the mask itself there's a camera hardwired and uh you know the wire comes all the way through and it comes up and over into this system right here this is with aqua view so whatever's on his mask i'll be able to see right here and we just make it bigger with an hdmi cable to the tv so we're going to be able to see what he's seeing we're going to be able to talk to him he's going to have air and most importantly uh, he can't go down there without hot water. So this again uh, is um, uh, a Toyo Tomi. So this is a diesel hot water heater and it works fantastic. You have plenty, plenty, plenty of hot water. Um, but normally you'll get the hot water when the dredge motor is running. Um, normally we do it that way. But again, since the dredge motor is not running, we have hot water and we got air um, as like, uh, these are backups. So. And they're coming in really handy today because uh, today we don't want to put the dredge hose down and get all the diesel motor going and all that crap. So 
we're gonna be able to go down without all that so cool um, so first thing is uh, this air compressor here it needs a lot of power so we have to run our auxiliary um, generator there's that there's that big aluminum sheet we're making a, a sluice box um, a plate with a sheet and this sheet was up there and it blew down along with all the other parts but we we're able to save this so that's our aluminum sheet so this is a 4750 uh, generator we're gonna have to start this to run the air system so we're gonna do that now all right got the big jenny going and so we're just gonna use an extension cord and hook that up through there and find a cord this one oh you look like gumby it's like getting ready to go into space i know, <laughs> you know this is just one thing i gotta put on i gotta put on 10 more things plus air plus cameras yeah. plus mics you gotta put your hood on yeah. your weight belt your i mean boots, an astronaut your... goes through about I, <laughs> we, I mean it's it, and it but it's almost like going to the moon when you go down it just takes forever to get yeah. ready but man without that part we can't go out in the ocean we can't run our sluice box we really need that part so yeah yep. so this one's uh electric let's see hopefully she fires up just gonna plug her in see what happens all right we got air yeah now this uh, little electric motor's going it's gonna be filling this tank up and uh we'll out there so next up we gotta uh, do this hot water this is uh, with this we got a water pump it's gonna suck water in from the ocean through the pump go through the system get hot and out to the, the hot water on the dive i'm gonna fill your backup too just in case of emergency yeah so this yeah. is our backup there there's also a little octopus on the regulator on the umbilical for backup there's still a little air in there but we'll top that off in case he has an emergency he'll have a, a spare uh, air air system so to the hot water we turn the water pump on. Uh, I need to plug this in. So just gonna turn it on. Water is probably like a, at 120 degrees. But by the time it goes through all the hoses down in the ocean, it's only like at 95 or so. Okay, that's sucking air. That's getting hot. Water pump's on. All right, I gotta zip zip them up. All right, let's test this hot water. So this, this is gonna have a lot of flow. Look at that flow on that thing, and that's all like 100 degree water. And it keeps up with it, no problem at all. It's a really awesome system. Yeah, that's hot. That is like bath water right now. Really nice, that's that's like taking a hot shower right there. Look how much water flow, tons of water flow. So we'll get uh, plenty of hot water, which is good because this water is freaking cold. We're up in the Bering Sea here, so that's uh, this freaking cold, cold water. So Gary's got his hot water. Is the air system's going? What's going on with this thing? Oh, okay. Let me figure out the way. Alright. Air pressure's at 100. We've got plenty of air. Alright, there he is. Got his weight belt. He's plugged in this, so let's get this going. So yeah, here's a here's a face mask camera. Gary's out there right now getting it. So we'll be able to see what he's seeing. We can't use the big TV today because uh, the film crew actually has it. Let's see what are they doing. Let's see if I can put it on. This is a uh, this is where the camera guys kind of hang out and do their stuff. But they got all these electronics like rigged up to all that stuff. So I don't think we can do the big TV without those guys here. But we'll have the small one. Be able to watch that. So there's the mask. So now I gotta plug, uh, so you gotta plug his regular compressor back in. And he's ready. So he told me he's ready. Um, get your chair. Here's a chair. You need some baby soap? Probably. Get the comms on. Check, check, check. I'm sure I'm right. 
Oh, we just gotta put the wire back in. Cool. Uh, let me get the baby soap for you. There we go. Stuff ain't no joke, man. <laughs> no, it takes a long time to get all this shit ready. Yeah, this isn't. Uh, I mean, people don't think realize just how much we gotta go through before we die because right, they never right. show that on the show. No. Nah. Someday we need to make a video exactly from start to finish what we gotta go through. It takes I know. 10 minutes. Just to get ready to go in the water, 15 minutes. Yeah, it takes, it takes a long time. There's a lot of systems. Like I said, we gotta get the hot water, or the air, the backup air, the comm system, the TV system. Yeah, and if you look Gary's at this, got it all ready. He's gotta get his weight belt, the suit on, and all this mask. Yeah, when you look at this mask, I mean, we got lights. Yeah. We got camera, and then we're gonna have another camera on here. So two cameras. And usually uh, the film crew puts a bunch of other stuff on here. So, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah. On top of that, there's this a GoPro is... mount right here. There's a light here. There's a camera here with another light. There's lights on the inside right here. They have it wired for that. Then yeah. there's comm systems. And the umbilical, you got hot water, you got an airline, you got a spare airline in, uh, I don't know, four or five different things. Yeah. I mean, that thing's so heavy. It's There's so much weight on one side of the mask, it kind of sucks, you know. Before you start, you got to make sure these are all full. Yeah, then you got to do all the straps and um, putting it all on and everything. And it just kind of sucks. It takes a lot. You got to, 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 to think you can just come and do this without no having any knowledge of it. It takes a long time to learn how to do all this stuff. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So uh, for people who want to do this, <laughs> just remember. I mean, if you just look at that mess over there, I mean, that's yeah, just, that's just a minor part of everything else. I mean, and just knowing what to do in an emergency, like I know exactly what to do if there's an emergency. If Gary loses air, I know what things to unplug and plug in. And there's quick connects where I can. You know, if there's an emergency, I could take one thing and put it into another thing. If you don't know all this stuff, I mean, you know, the diver could die if you don't do it right. Yeah. Uh, or if someone accidentally bumps into that heater and it cranks up hot, I mean, he can get burned. There's all types of junk, but all types of stuff that can happen. We put baby soap in our mask to, uh, to keep it from fogging up down there. Yeah, that baby soap works great. It doesn't burn your eyes. And you need uh, some kind of soap to spread in there. Keeps all the fog away. It works pretty good for quite a while. Oh, Gary, there's a uh, hot water right here if you want to rinse it with oh, yeah. hot water. Cool. Right on. I got it all set up, buddy. And before you go in, you can even put that hot water and get uh, nice and warm right now. Get your boots all warm. Yeah, that's, that's why you know? I'll be down there for a little bit. I want to I wanna give the viewers a, uh, a good experience. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. So, I think I'm ready to go. All right. um, we're just gonna put my weight belt on and, and put everything on me and uh yeah i'll be down all right so the game the game plan is you're gonna go down on this side i'm gonna drop down on this side i'll make sure i got enough umbilical cord down there with me so it doesn't get tangled on anything on the boat okay then i'll go under yep and uh i'll stay this away from the wall so i don't get chained hit tangled on any chains or anything okay. and i'll i'll find the slick plate first and then we'll go on a little journey all right, so you're gonna grab the slick plate. You're gonna give it to me on the dock side or yeah. on this side? Probably on this side. All right. Um, actually, no. Well, because if I come under the boat, um, it's probably gonna be so mucky I won't know where I'm at. Yeah. So just follow the umbilical. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow. I'll grab yep. the slick plate. I'll pull myself, and I'll, I'll hopefully I'll be able to just uh, hold onto the slick plate and pull myself up. Okay. And then I'll hand you that, and then we'll go on a little journey. All right. So I'm just gonna wait here. I'll hop comms. I'll talk to you. Let me know if you find it and coming up. And I'll hold on to your umbilical, you climb up, grab the slip plate, and then uh, we'll see if we can find some treasure. <laughs> right, I'm gonna help Gary get ready and uh, we'll get back to you. Feels like, feels like sack the whole time, huh? Yeah, yeah. Ready for your belt? You wanna put your mask on first or put the belt on? Oh, let's put the belt on first. I'll we'll shift your mask on. Oh, you still didn't. You gotta goop these before it's too late. Oh, I know. I don't think I'll need those, do I? No. Probably not. It's up to you. You're only gonna be down for. Yeah. It's up to you. I'm just afraid of water pouring into here. It really doesn't matter, does it? Probably get your mask on first, though. Yeah. Make sure the air works. <laughs> Forget my, uh,. My routine. Yeah. Ow. You got air? Alright, 
I gotta plug it back in. How's this one? Here's the emergency. Oh, lots of air on the emergency. Okay, let's do a comm check. Check, check, check. You there? No. Check, 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 check. Yeah, I can hear you, but it's a little soft. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Turn it to silver mask. Oh, there. That's better? Yeah, it's way better. All right, no. How about now? Yep. Okay. All right, uh, we're almost at 100. Alright, check. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you nice and loud. Okay. Um, uh, okay. one right here so now he has hot water going to the system should be to we'll find out it's gonna take a second there it goes yeah yeah just let it go through uh the umbilical i'll get warmed up How's the temperature? All right, he's going in. There he goes, diving in Nome Harbor. Going down. You all right? Yeah, I think that light on. All right. You turn his light on. There he goes. Going down. Actually, visibility looks pretty good. What happened? Oh, he's floating. He doesn't have enough weight on. The umbilical. Alright, let's see what you can see. Air pressure's good. Okay, there he is. Can you see the bottom? Oh, he got the plate. He's got the plate. Yo, hold on. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Should be right here. Oh, I guess it doesn't have the plate. Alright, let's go on. back inside. Let's see if we can see what he's seeing. Yeah. Okay. Pull my umbilical cord, dude. 
Okay. Pull his cord. Coming up. Holy shit. I got it. There it is. Holy shit. All right, we got her. What's that? I got another piece of expanded metal. Oh, okay. I'm going to go to try to All right. Why don't you take a little breather, catch your breath? Yeah. Do you see anything else down there? I can't see nothing, dude. There's no way for me to look around. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, catch your breath. <laughs> you can't see, huh? Can't see nothing? Yeah, that sucks. Hey, when I go down, you're going to have to pull me back up. Yeah. Yeah, he can't see, so I have to pull him, pull him up. It's so murky down there. We're in the harbor, so just all muck and mud, I guess. That's too bad. There's probably a lot of goodies down there. Going back in. Okay. All right, there he is. Oh, we found some expanded. Okay, got it. <laughs> that was some strong wind to move all this stuff. Wow. Hey man, I can't see anything down here. All right, you coming up? Yeah, it's time for you to come up. Yeah, come on up. How the hell am I supposed to get this ladder? I know, that's what I said. I'll have to push this out. Yeah, this ladder sucks. I hate this ladder. Yeah, I will. Okay, ready? Yeah. You ready? I gotta let go of the sluice. I have to let. Okay. Hold on. You wanna take the mask off? Is it easier? Well. Yeah, go ahead. Ah. Oh shit. Yeah, take it out. Get, get your breath. Hold on, one sec. Got it? Yeah. I'm gonna turn the light off. Dude, how in the fuck are you supposed to get up <laughs> this ladder? This is so Hold stupid. On. Uh, is it extended all the way? Can you get your foot in there? Maybe. All right, here he goes. Yeah, this ladder sucks. This, this is stupid. I gotta help him. I my life. Yeah, I know. Dude, Gary Taylor's on the shop with us. Yeah, dude, what do you think? I was trying to do this with the waves in the ocean. Okay, I'll hold this back. 
There's nothing to grab onto. Okay, pull me. Wait a second. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Oh, All right. Wow, that sucked. Let me turn this off. It's fucking loud. All right. Dude, that fucking ladder sucks. I'm telling you, that's what I had to deal with in the ocean. With the waves going up and down, it sucks. I don't know why he took our ladder down. That's bad. Dude. <laughs> Let me turn your hot water off. Hold on. Yeah, that ladder, that's devastating if you're real tired. Yeah, dude, I was did a four hour dive trying to come up without air. My air ran out and I had no air and I was trying to get up that freaking oh, ladder, you know? Yeah, we'll, that's, I won't dive with that ladder no more. Let me take your weight belt off. There we go. I could shoot nothing down there, man. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, mission success. I mean, we got the, without this, we can't use our sluice box. So we got, we got a plate back. That's all that really mattered. Plus my hands were cold, but cold, dude. Oh, you didn't go in with the gloves? No, oh, my no. hands started getting hot, real, like hurting. Shit, shit. Oh. Well, either way, success. You got the plate. Yeah. Hell yeah. Plus I got a, a piece of expanded metal that fell off. Yeah, we didn't even know we lost that. A good thing we went down there else we wouldn't have expanded metal. So cool, yeah, we got our plate, we got that. Go. Uh, too bad you couldn't see, that would've been cool. Yeah. All yeah. right, well, until next adventure, see you later. See ya. There it is. All right. All right, cool. I don't wanna fall over. <laughs> nope. All right, got it. Cool, so yeah, here's a sluice box. We had to add this part back in. It was just one flat box, and they had expanded metal over miner's moss, but now uh, we're gonna switch it back to the original state this was, which was uh, a two-stage box. Okay. What that means is there's gonna be expanded metal down there, and then this plate will go on top of it, and the water will go down. There'll be a screen here, and just all the super fines are gonna go down in its own sluice box, and the bigger stuff will go up top here. And we can adjust how much water by sliding this. So there'll be way more water if it's open like this. It'll close your water, you just you know put it like that, and that's how you control the amount of water you need. So as you can see, we're a little short. So that's what Gary's working on. He's gonna make uh, this uh, second part right here to add up for the extension. So yeah, we're gonna do some measurements and. Yeah. box will be back to new before you know it yeah we'll be sluicing soon sluicing tomorrow sluicing tomorrow Make it go. completely rebuild the box in a couple hours okay. let's see um do you know where this is gonna go how far up uh i would push it my way probably another four inches or so just guessing it's hard to uh i mean if it hangs a little bit huh More than that? Uh, yeah, because it's a long run. You're gonna need a lot of water in there. I would, yeah, it's getting close right there. I would say that would, that's probably max. The max will you need? Um, just guessing. It's hard to guess. So it'd be better if we go short, and then because if we go max, it'll still overhang a little bit on the back. Yeah. And it'll be, but it, it can't be short, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we better go short. Yeah, go short. I would, so that way, I would say that's the shortest it would possibly yeah. be. Yeah. Then, I mean, we can always trim it. Yeah, we can always trim it. it. Right, right, right. So he's going to measure this part here, and this is the part we got to make up. Four feet, 48. 48? Well, that makes sense because that's uh, a four foot extension, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Yep. So why was we going 52 before? Why did... Why, they said 52? 
Thomas said 52. No, no way. Man, I gotta pull that in. Cause look, uh, the way it is now, this is, was the original part. Yeah. This was the original top section, and it matches exactly with the old box. Exactly, right there is yeah. exactly. This is an extension. And the extension's 48. Yeah. So we need 48. 48, you yeah. Know? It makes yeah. sense to me. Simple, simple, easy peasy, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 52 would be if this was closed. That would be like 52. Yeah. Because there's, you know, another six or eight inches right there. So why but then, then the water's closed off. Well, yeah, it's weird. Why would you pull a 52? So the original box is right there, for sure. 48. Yeah. 48. All right, we're going to make that second run. 48. That's how we're doing it. Doing a couple tack welds. <laughs> Just doing a couple tack welds. Almost done. Do a few more. <clears throat> Some it sucks. All done well it's stack welded we're gonna have Todd come in a uh, professional welder he's gonna come in and finish it but these are where we went all the bars so my job is just to tack weld them today all right so we got this front plate done now Gary's gonna cut the second one we got to add it to this one to make the full what was it 72 inches I'm not sure we got a full measurement yeah, again full measurement it's a, I don't know it's pretty long okay. we're gonna put it all together and we'll have a top run on the box yep so yeah, cool. Gary uh, just finished uh, cutting this plate. Now what we got to do is uh, we got to do the same thing we were doing to the other ones. We're gonna add these uh, channels to them, and of course we got to pop it up a little bit with these little uh, pieces of uh, flat stock. Just weld it on, just like we did the other ones. And as soon as this is done, boom, we'll be back in business. All right. I gotta get the paint. Yeah. Yeah, Gary's gonna get some tools. Yeah, this will be cool. Uh, easy peasy. And we just gotta put the rest of the sluice box back together. We've got all the carpets up there and all the expanded metal and riffles and stuff. And uh, we'll be ready to go out dredging. Uh, everyone's getting ready. You can see everyone on the dock, across the dock over there. They're all fueling up, getting water, getting all set. Uh, all these guys, you see this whole harbor right now? It's all full. Tomorrow is gonna be empty. Tomorrow's supposed to be a really nice day. It's a first nice day in probably two weeks. So everyone here is antsy to get back out, including us. So we gotta really. Hurry up and finish his job before um, it gets too late. Alright, back to work.